hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel my name is Nia if you're new welcome nice to meet you make sure to subscribe join the family today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my DIY I've always wanted to make a bed crown well I've always wanted to have one and I decided that I was gonna make one at first I was thinking should I do something more realistic but then I got to drawing and I created my own little piece and just pretty much looked around my art supplies and saw what things I could use to put this together so I'm gonna walk you guys through exactly what I did to make this bed crown so I wanted to have lots of different elements I definitely wanted it to be very Mm, theatrical should I say very ethereal and um, that's very my style having garden very princessy so I put tried to throw in all of those different elements of things that I liked and um, for matched the theme that I wanted so some of them not necessarily have anything personally to do with me but it goes with the princessy kind of feel so I have little I have the drapes that kind of change colors you can see behind me purple and pink it goes in with the theme of my room which is a lot of blues lots of pinks and blue, um, purples so that's kind of the main theme then I wanted to have a little window in there where I could do little mini designs of different things um, to really push hard that theme that I was going for. And I wanted to have these curtains to hide the fairy lights that I have behind them. Um, I did used to have them hanging just along this whole wall but I didn't like looking at the wires so I thought let's have a nice little curtain to hide them behind. Then to add in more of the theme I'm going to make some leaves or I made some leaves a uh, different colour so we have the nice green and then we have the autumn leaves at the top and some DIY flowers that I made that will go along the bottom and some vines of leaves. And I really really wanted to push hard that crown theme so if you see like the Queen's crown or the one that they depict in the movies it has that nice tufted cushion kind of thing so I wanted to try and emulate that without using fabric and then on the top I have a little butterfly and I wasn't sure quite sure how I was gonna make that stand on the top so but I'll show you guys how I figured it out in the end but this is just the design phase So now let's get on to making. So I started off by trying to work out what size I wanted the crown. I didn't want it to be too big but I definitely didn't want it to be small especially when I'm having so many elements I didn't want it to get washed out so I created a just glued some A3 paper together and put it alongside my wall to see if it would work.
then I went through my scraps of cardboard and started to cut together the size that I liked. So now I'm creating the little windows that you see alongside the bottom half portion of my crown and I actually filmed each individual window which I'll leave in the cards and I've also linked all of the videos down below. I released all of those videos one by one just as a little teaser for the big reveal which is what you guys are watching now and um, yeah. So I'll just show you guys how I made that window. I just did a lot of measuring and I'm not uh, the best when it comes to measuring things. So it took a little while to try and figure out what kind of shape I wanted, but I eventually got it. And then I started to color in with different colors that I thought was going to match the theme, pinks, purples, blues. I really wanted to hit hard on what the theme was. Now that all those little illustrations are done, I'm just going to cut them all out and glue them on the crown. 
crown base that I've made out of the cardboard. Now on to the next layer which is going to be the leaves and I just measured it out again what size I wanted them, drew on the leaves, coloured them in in the colour that I wanted. Now if I was to do this again I would probably just find green paper and do it that way because I kind of wanted to make it more realistic now. Um, but at the time I didn't really mind doing something like this. I just wanted to have the colours there and to have it very like handmade kind of style but now looking back I wish I had put a little bit more effort into making them look really realistic. I'm just cutting away all the excess cardboard that I don't really need so that I can stick my leaves on and start building the shape that I want. Another favourite thing of mine to do is to use nail varnish as a glue and stick on some glitter and I was using nail varnish because I didn't actually have any PVA glue on me at the time. I have PVA glue now so I would use that instead but I just wanted to use whatever I had in the house so I just used a little bit of nail varnish, want a colour that I was never going to use and then pour the glitter on there. And then um, make sure that when you're using glitter, put a sheet of paper underneath so that way you can collect the glitter once it is all dried and put it back into your container. Because I have the habit of spilling the whole jar out when I'm doing glitter and obviously I don't want to waste a whole jar of glitter on each project. So make sure you collect all of that once you it's all dried and you shake it off, collect it. Fold the piece of paper in half and pour it back into your jar. 
So while that is drying, I'm going to draw the next row of leaves, which is going to cover the kind of tufted bit at the top of the crown. And these ones are more autumn leaves, so it's a different shape, different colors, um, reds, yellows, oranges, and uh, fall is my favorite one of my favorite seasons. I think it's my favorite season because it's the merger of summer and winter, which are my two favorite standalone seasons. So I pretty much enjoy every time of the year, apart from spring, if I'm being honest. So I just wanted to find a way to merge those two together. And that's what I did. collecting the glitter like I said before Now I'm going to make the bits that are going to hold the crown together to make it look like the top portion of the crown. I just cut out some cardboard, cut it in half, cut it in half again. So I have thin strips. At first I didn't cut out enough so I had to cut another two strips to make the crown. And then I just painted it black. You can paint it whatever colour you like but I have a lot of black paint so I just thought I'd use what I have and that's what I chose. And I love black anyway, so it doesn't matter. First I hot glued all of the pieces together to have the shape but um, as you'll see eventually it, I just took all of that out and I had to cut the strips down because it wouldn't fit snugly against the wall. Don't 
Now my mum had a gift bag that she got for her birthday and she was going to throw it away and she asked me if I wanted it and I went absolutely yes. And I saw these cute butterflies on there and I thought I'm going to put a butterfly on my crown somehow so I'm going to use this. Um, and I hadn't figured out what how I was going to stick it on there but I just knew I wanted to save this piece instead of having to make a butterfly. <laughs> Now I'm just hot gluing my DIY tissue paper flowers, which I already made a DIY video, which I'll leave in the cards. It's also linked down below, so if you want to know how to make these paper flowers that I made, I have a tutorial for you. So I'm just adding my green leaves or the vines, and I literally have that on every single DIY that I've ever made. Fun fact, best purchase ever. From Shein. Now I have these push pins that you can get for your cork boards and I use this to hang everything in my room so I'm going to use these for to hang up my crown and I just wrapped up the fairy lights in two bunches so that I can have them draping alongside the bed and I put a pin in the wall, hung them up, and then draped the fabric over each side. And the fun thing about the fabric is how to hide the pin when you tie it up against the wall. So I would have the ribbon behind it, I would push the pin in, and I would wrap the bow around the pin so that you can't see that it's there, you just see the bow. <laughs> And for a lot of trial and error and trying to get the crown to stay up, I had to peel back the cardboard because it was too thick to stay in the wall. So I had to peel the cardboard so that I can push the pins in and you can add as little as many as you want to make sure that it's nice and secure in your wall. And here's the final result. I found a way to put the butterfly on, I just used a bit of blue tack and stuck it on the wall so it looks like it's literally flying away from the crown, it's so cool. So if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a massive thumbs up, make sure to subscribe, join the family and I'm uploading a video every single day so you don't want to miss out on that. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video. Bye.